Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to Soulmates Twin Flames Tarot. This is a general love reading for the collective. Not all of the messages that come through may apply to everyone watching today. So please only take in from this reading what speaks to your soul and what resonates for you and your situation and release the rest to the universe. I'm getting so many signs reminding me of you. It's scary. Well, it's not really scary, but they are getting a lot of signs reminding them of you. The universe is bombarding them with everything right now. Well, your person is definitely seeing a lot of signs that remind them of you. They see your name, your initials, the kind of car you drive. They see stuff on billboards that remind them of you. They hear things on the radio. They see things on television. No matter where your person goes or what they do, they can't get away from these signs. The universe is bombarding them. And it's not like they actually need to see these signs or synchronicities that remind them of you because they're thinking about you constantly anyway. But they understand as well that these signs and synchronicities are coming from the universe, urging them to reach out to you, communicate with you, to start repairing this relationship, to break the ice because this person knows the ball is in their court, that it's up to them, that they have to take the first step here. And they are figuring out what that step is going to be because these signs are kind of like making your person feel like they're going a little over the edge here because they are seeing a lot of them. And you probably are as well. Have you seen an increase in signs, synchronicities from the universe as well, you guys watching the reading? Because you should be, because there's an energy building between you and your person. You can feel that anticipation building within them because they are getting close to reaching out to you here. Let's see what else we need to know for this love reading today, please. What does the collective need to know about this person and this connection? You're the first thing I think about when I wake up. Well, you're pretty much what your person thinks about quite a lot, actually. And we already talked about that because you're a constant presence in their mind. And when your person wakes up first thing in the morning, they like to lay there in that moment and wonder about you, think about you, what you're going to do that day, how your day is going to go for you. They wonder if you are happy. They wonder if you've moved on. They also think about waking up with you next to them. Yes, in that romantic kind of way. But the point here is as well, you are on your person's mind all the time. First thing in the morning, throughout the day, and then at night when they go to bed as well. They think about you and imagine what it would be like to have you next to them. Again, let's see what else we need to know for this reading today. What does the collective need to know about this person and this connection? Every day, I think of reaching out. Yes, because they're getting so many signs from the universe that it's time to reach out. It is time for this person to pick up the phone, dial those numbers, and get it moving. But I feel as well your person is trying to think of what to say to you. But they will find the words. They want it to be a meaningful conversation. They don't just want to say, hey, how's it going? They know that they need to come out with an explanation for why they disappeared for why they ran, ghosted, whatever else they did in this connection that caused it to fall apart the way that it did. Your person knows they owe you an apology and they are trying to think through the meaningful words that they can present to you that will allow you to see that they are sincere with this apology for how they acted and for what they did. But your person is thinking about reaching out every day here and it's coming. That anticipation is building within you just like it's building within them. And you can feel them thinking about reaching out. The energy is really high right now, guys. It's a really intense energy for many of you in the collective between you and your person. So let's see what else we need to know for this love reading today. What does the collective need to know about this person 
and this connection. I'm done running. I need to fight my fears. Yes, good. Hallelujah. Your person is tired of running and it is time for them to turn around and run back to you. Again, with the signs from the universe, thinking about reaching out, thinking about you first thing in the morning, all day before they go to bed as well, your person was running from fear. Their fears caused them to run. Perhaps it was the intensity of this connection and they were fearful of that. But they can only run so long and so far and so hard until they get tired of running. And they can't run from this love that they feel for you. They know it's time to turn around and face those fears head on 5,000% right now because that is the only thing that's going to give them the courage and the confidence to reach out to you. But that is what they're going to do, releasing these fears once and for all so they can be full on in this relationship with you. <clears throat> Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today. What does the collective need to know about this person and this connection? My love for you remains as strong as ever. Your person's love for you has always been there. Whether they express that to you or not, whether they told you how they felt, if they kept that locked down behind lock and key inside their heart, their love for you is going to come pouring out because just like we talked about with the running, you can only run for so long until you get tired and you can't run from these feelings forever. Their love for you is going to come pouring out of their heart as well and they will tell you and show you how they feel about you. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What does the collective need to know about this person and this connection? I was afraid to let you in completely. Yes, they were scared. That's why they ran. That's part of their fear, letting you in completely. But your person knows that in order to be in this relationship with you, they need to do that. It is about them unlocking their heart because you have the key anyway. You have the key to their heart. You can unlock that heart. No one else can. Only you because their love for you remains as strong as ever. Their love for you has never gone away. They've just been running from it. They've been hiding from it. You can run, but you can't hide. They know that it's time to come out into the light of this love again and experience it full on with you. But they won't be fearful anymore about letting you in completely. They will be open to you and to this connection and to this love because they know that this is the one for them. This love, your love, this connection, because their love for you is as strong as ever. Actually, it's stronger. And that is one thing that they have learned and realized while they have been doing this running thing here. That the further and harder and faster they run, their love for you doesn't go away. It's just growing. It's time to stop and face this and communicate with you so the two of you can start rebuilding this relationship. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What does the collective need to know about this person and this connection? I hope I can make it all up to you. Yeah, see, so your person does want to rebuild this relationship and they will do what it takes. If you told them they had to crawl through broken glass on their knees to get to you to apologize, this is what they would do. Yes, that was a silly analogy, but the point is your person knows that they need to show up for you. That they need to put forth effort and energy into this relationship. That they need to be a contributing partner to this relationship. And they will do that because they want to rebuild your faith and your trust in them. They realize that they've probably lost a great deal of your respect as well because of their words, their actions for what they did, for how they acted, 
for hurting you, for just disappearing without saying anything, just going poof. Dealing with that kind of situation is really hard on you guys. That ghosting stuff is really difficult. And they know that they need to address that. That's why they are trying to figure out these words to say here. To see if you're even willing to talk to them. They may even fear that you would reject them and not be willing to say word boo to them at all. But your person is going to do what it takes. They will show up for you. And they will put in effort, energy, work, working together to rebuild this relationship. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today. Please, we'll use some tarot cards now and see what else the universe wants to reveal. Let's see what else. What does the universe want to reveal for this love reading today, please? What does the collective need to know about this person and this connection? The Five of Cups. Yeah, so your person is feeling a lot of regret and remorse for how they acted that's why they say here they want to make it all up to you the five of cups is a card of feeling guilty it tells us your person is really deeply experiencing the loss of not having you in their life and they do not like it they know that they are the one that has to take action that they have to reach out to you and apologize that comes with the five of cups as well but they are really experiencing their life without you at the moment and let me tell you it is not very fulfilling or very happy for them because they are focused on what they have lost by creating all of the problems and making all of the mistakes that they made in this connection with you, when they were self-sabotaging, when they've been running, when they've been ghosting, when they denied the connection, the fighting and arguing, whatever your person has done, they are feeling the remorse and the regret of that right now. Let's see what else we need to know for this love reading today, please. What does the collective need to know about this person and this connection? The world the world is the attainment of all things. It also tells us that from every ending comes a new beginning. It is about the circle of life. And this world card is so very powerful. It is about all things that we desire coming to fruition in our lives. But as well, the world card is the universe. It tells us that the hands of our angels and guides, the universe, the powers that be, are at work in this connection with your person to bring about this new beginning between the two of you. Let's see what else we need to know for this love reading today, please. What does the universe want to reveal? Justice. This is about restoring balance and harmony in this connection. This tells us that your person is going to do what it takes to make it all up to you. Justice is about equal give and take. It's about reciprocity. Your person recognizing that they did not give to you as much as you have always given to them and that it's their turn to give to you which is why they say here, I hope I can make it all up to you because they will. Justice is about the soul contract that exists between you and your person, that you will have life lessons and experiences in this lifetime with each other for your personal and spiritual growth. And yes, you still have life lessons and experiences with each other to fulfill that destiny for this lifetime in union. But justice tells us your person knows that they haven't been fair to you. That they didn't give this relationship a fair shot because they weren't fully invested in it because of their fear. And that is going to change because they will do what it takes to make it up to you. Justice is ruled by Libra. So if you or your person have your sun, moon, or rising in Libra, this can be a place of validation that there is a message in this reading for you, but you don't have to be Libra for this reading to work. 
This is very much so about the energy that your person is going to take moving forward with you, which will be more balanced, more harmonious, more fair than it ever has been in the past because they will contribute to this relationship just like you are. You won't be doing the heavy lifting by yourself anymore. They will be a willing participant in this relationship. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What does the collective need to know? What does the universe want to reveal? This is the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands in this deck is always so fascinating to me. Because it, to me, it tells us we have the moon and we have the sun. So what was in the dark is now in the light, in the light of the sun. And your person is getting signs and signals from the universe that it's time to bridge this gap that's here between you. The Two of Wands is a card that tells us there's a lot of passion here in this connection with you and your person. And yes, you are aware of that. But it also tells us about the distance between the two of you at the moment, whether it is physical distance, if you're in a long distance connection, or if it is emotional distance because they are running, ghosting, or whatever else is the case may be currently in your dynamic with them. The two of Wands is about them bridging that gap breaking the ice to reach out to communicate with you. But also this two of wands tells us your person wants to have a discussion with you about long-term goals and plans between the two of you with each other. What else does the universe want to reveal for this love reading today, please? What does the collective need to know about this person and this connection? And this is the Hierophant. The Hierophant is a card of faith. And it tells us to have faith in what is happening in this connection with your person. It tells us to trust what we feel, to have faith in your person, in yourselves, and in this connection. But the Hierophant is also a card of tradition. It is about a traditional relationship. And this is very much what your person envisions with you. Whatever that tradition is, it could be getting engaged, getting married, domestic partnership, becoming exclusive, whatever is tradition for you, this is what your person is envisioning. It could be all of it in that right order as well. But the Hierophant is also the teacher, the counselor. This tells us that your person is healing and doing whatever they need to do in this moment to release and heal what has held them back from this connection and from this love. The Hierophant is also a card of long-term partnership. Ultimately, that's what the card is about. The Hierophant is ruled by Taurus. So if you or your person have sun, moon, or rising in Taurus, again, a place of validation. But this also tells us with this Hierophant here, because the Hierophant is about stability. Hierophant energy, Taurus energy is very stable. Your person will show you as they start to make this up to you, that they have gained greater emotional stability and maturity within themselves and that the foundation for your relationship moving forward will be rock solid here. Let's see what else the universe wants to reveal for this love reading today, please. What does the collective need to know about this person and this connection? focus a beautiful butterfly there as well well i do feel at the moment this is telling us that your person is very focused on healing working through their stuff taking care of what they need to take care of working through the issues that they need to work through so that they can come forward for this new beginning with you and that is what they have really needed to work on here about this running, why they were ghosting, why they've ran, healing all of this stuff once and for all. 
but this is what needs to happen for them so that they can show up and present themselves to you as this strong romantic partner who can be there for you, who can tell you how they feel because they have done the work that they've needed to do to let this stuff go and be full on and present in this relationship with you. Your person is doing it, they're getting it done. And when they have healed that stuff, they are going to focus as well on what they need to do to apologize to you, the words that they need to say, and then reaching out to you and getting this relationship moving forward. But I also feel this focus card tells us that when your person returns, they will focus on you and on this relationship and doing what they need to do to rebuild your trust and faith in them. Remember, they want to make it all up to you because they know that they have let you down in the past and they have so much regret, guilt, and remorse for that. Their focus will be on you and on this relationship, so much more so than it ever was in the past. What else do we need to know for this love reading today, please? What does the collective need to know about this person and this connection? Heart, home, compassion. I love this card so much because it has quite a few things going on here. This is about the home that your person envisions having with you. But as well, this heart has two keyholes and you have the key to your person's heart. There are other little hearts up here. There's butterflies down here that symbolize the transformation that your person is going through right now so that they can become the partner you need them to be. Heart home. Home is where the heart is. You are your person's heart and your heart is their home. I do feel as well this tells us your person will be so much more expressive of their love for you as they rebuild this relationship with you than they ever have before because they don't want to lose you again. What else do we need to know for this love reading today? What does the collective need to know about this person and this connection? Water spirit manifesting dreams. I do feel that there's a little otter here. Anyone out there resonate with otters and the water and this beautiful forest scene as well? This tells us very much here about believe in your dreams, you guys watching this reading. Your dreams are manifesting into reality. What do you dream for? What do you hope for? What do you wish for? Because that is what the meaning of this card is. It tells us that things are changing here in this connection with your person. Their dreams are manifesting as well. But it also tells us that you are meeting up on the astral plane at night so that you can have conversations and exchange energy with each other. Now, you may not always remember these dreams, for some of you, you possibly will. For others, you won't. It doesn't matter if you remember these dreams or not because they are happening so that the two of you can talk. Yes, it's happening in 5D. It's not happening in 3D at the moment, but it will happen in 3D as well. Listen to the power of your dreams. Believe in what you are dreaming and experiencing with this person and with this connection because they are trying to tell you in their dreams that the two of you belong together and that they see a future with you. They're just not ready to manifest it yet in the 3D world, but it is coming. There is an energy building here between you and this person and it is definitely getting to the place where things are going to start changing and happening here in the 3D world where we live as well. You guys are going to be getting communication. Things are going to be happening because things are shifting in the universe. Let's see what else we need to know for this love reading today, please. This is one of our decks, Elemental Goddess Oracle. There is a link in the description for these cards. But for right now, let's see what else we need to know about this person and this connection, please dependable. 
Your person wants to be more dependable. They want to be someone you can depend and rely on. And that will be the energy of this person moving forward with you because they will make it all up to you as you rebuild this relationship. Now, this also tells us that your person sees you as someone who is very dependable and they've always been able to depend on you in the past and it's time for them to reciprocate that to you. Let's see what else we need to know for this love reading today, please. What does the collective need to know about this person and this connection? Dedicated. Yes, dependable and dedicated. Your person will be dedicated to you and to rebuilding this relationship with you on this much stronger foundation that comes with the stability of this Hierophant card. You're going to see them act in ways that you can't imagine right now because it will be so very different and perhaps even out of character for your person. It may shock you and you may go, what the hell's happening here? But your person wants to rebuild on this stronger foundation because they know that they made a big, huge mess and they hurt you and they want to make all of it up to you. They know that they have to regain your trust and your respect. You will see them be so very dedicated to you and to this relationship. Let's see what else we need to know for this love reading today, please. What does the collective need to know about this person and this connection? sensual well yes woohoo okay guys there'll be a fun time here when your person starts rebuilding this connection and that makes sense as well because this two of wands card is a card of passion but it's not just the sensual experience that your person is looking for although that will be way better than it ever has because they're going to be able to be emotionally vulnerable with you as well as physically but they also see you as someone who is very sensual and very desirable. And they are so very attracted to you in that way. Let's see what else we need to know for this love reading today, please. What does the collective need to know about this person and this connection? Justice. <laughs> very much justice. Yes, your person will be more loving more caring, nurturing, supportive, giving, dependable, dedicated, affectionate, giving back to you the love that you have always given to them. Because it's about reciprocity, is about equal give and take, and they will make all of the pain that they caused you, all of the hurt, all of the damage, they want to make that up to you. If you are willing to give them an opportunity for a fresh start with you, your person has always had feelings of love for you. They just weren't ready or grown up enough or mature enough to be able to handle the magnitude of this relationship. But during this time apart, they are growing into that power because they are growing up. They know the two of you belong together. The universe is bombarding them with signs and synchronicities. They're getting hit all the time, but they don't need to be hit with those signs and synchronicities because you are always on their mind and their love for you is as strong as it ever was, if not stronger. They can't run from you. They can't run from this connection because they know that the two of you have always belong together. I'm done running. I'm ready to fight my fears. And that is exactly what your person is doing right now. They address those fears head on once and for all to get rid of them. Because your person sees this very powerful future with you that comes with this Hierophant. It is about long term partnership. Your person is healing, releasing and letting go of whatever has been holding them back because they want to show up for you and they want to present themselves to you as someone that you can trust, someone you can depend on, someone that you can have faith in. Remember, from every ending, 
comes a new beginning. The universe is at work in this connection with your person. They're at work in this connection period to try and bring you to this beautiful place of union with each other because you have unfinished business together. You have a destiny to fulfill and you can only fulfill that when you are in this powerful connection with each other. This is your reading for today, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this reading, please take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We appreciate all of you so very much. Blessings of peace, love, and light to everyone watching. Have a great day, everyone.